Unit Three: Standing Up for What Is Right. Reading. Hannah Saalfeld Singer, a religious activist and former parliament member from Switzerland, has devoted her life to helping women and other ignored members of society. Actively involved in community activities, she served as a school pastor in her early career path, encouraging young people to overcome adversity and reach their full potential. Her firm belief in equality and fairness for all led her to later enter politics to challenge the limitations imposed on women. In 1971, Hannah made history by becoming one of the first women elected to the Swiss Parliament. That shook the convention and reshaped women's roles in society. However, Switzerland, as the last European country where women gained full voting rights, presented a challenging environment for Hannah's support of minority voices. Swiss society, before Hannah entered politics, did not permit women to hold power or have a political voice. This is why Hannah was often criticized for her speeches advocating for the value of minority opinions. Rather than simply praising Switzerland, in the face of many difficulties, she brought people's attention to social and political matters and decided to fight for a place in the Swiss Parliament. Although Hannah faced unfair treatment from the moment she entered politics, she never gave in. On her first day as a member of Parliament, she was told to enter the Federal Palace through the visitors' entrance. Barriers like this blocked her way. But they only made her fight harder. She continued to stand up for women and others who were often unheard. During her political career, she spoke up for the rights of the homeless, assisted refugees in becoming citizens, and criticized Swiss companies for employing low-paid workers in South Africa. What she did was to give voice to issues that were ignored in society. Hannah's efforts led to more women entering Swiss politics, even after she resigned. Despite relocating to Germany with her family, she remained committed to various political and religious projects. She got involved in development policy through church projects and continued to follow Swiss politics. As a member of Swiss Parliament, Hannah inspired other women to become politicians. Increasing the number of women in Parliament every year, since Hannah's time, when there were only twelve female members of Parliament, the percentage of female members has risen to thirty percent. Although Hannah ultimately left her job in politics, her strong commitment and ongoing efforts make her an inspiration for many women. In summary, Hannah's story became a powerful symbol. Motivating women to pursue their rights and participate in politics.